The challenging thing about having a debate with uh, Dr. Miller is that I agree with him for most of this, the management part of it. So I would say that um, what we're going to try to do is really look at the the answer is always going to be the the question is always what's the timing of resection, and the answer is always going to be it depends. So what we really want to go to is the fact that what are what are the different scenarios. What's the data behind it? What are some of the complications and pitfalls that can occur? And then I think Dr. Miller has a, uh, a case to talk about where we can talk through it. As those of you who were here for the uh, pancreatic cancer uh, session before, this, the, I think the take home to all these are it really needs to be a multidisciplinary, um, a multidisciplinary uh, uh, decision. And um, so I'm going to start with basically looking at uh, the various scenarios uh, which we're going to discuss. And again, this is more just a primer for the rest of the discussion, but there was a recent um, uh, pretty uh, large consensus conference looking at, uh, looking at exactly this question. It's a great paper for those, especially the trainees that are here. Um, review, put it in your folder, look at it whenever you have a chance, because really the questions that are asked through the symposium and the answers that are given, the way the the paper was actually written actually tells you what the percentage answers were and how, where, where the actual controversies were. So here's really the four main clinical scenarios that, are gonna, uh, that, are, that you're going to encounter is either a, uh, a general surgeon who does colon cancer surgery or um, a liver surgeon or surgical oncologist that works with the colon surgeon. So um, really you're going to get the asymptomatic primary that has a resectable liver metastasis an asymptomatic primary with what appears to be unresectable liver metastasis, symptomatic primary with the liver or resectable liver metastasis, or a symptomatic primary with unresectable liver metastasis. So really within those four scenarios, that's why the answer is it depends, because they actually all do have uh, different options based on the uh, comorbidities of the patient, the size of the lesion, the and 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 really things that really should not be, um, uh, un, uh, should, should not be negated are, th are the capability of your hospital and the team. So uh, the decisions you'd make with a, a surgeon like Dr. Miller at your side are very, gonna be very different if you don't have uh, a capable liver surgeon in your hospital. You may have to treat the patient a little differently. So, um, why don't we go through the? Uh, why don't we go through your case now, maybe Charlie, and then we'll go back.